in Savannah, Georgia, we are all set to go stars and stripes with the Southeast All-American Soccer Showcase here in Savannah, Georgia, Savannah Memorial Stadium. We are all set for the game to go. We've got a girls game that preceded this one. Stars beat Stripes 2-0 as the Stripes set up for a free kick here. Coached by Chris Rose, they'll look to try to turn that tide and get a red team a victory here today. Stripes in red, Stars in blue. It's been a fascinating weekend here to watch develop as the Stars with Anthony Vera sending a ball forward. Got all kinds of talent here into the 18, rumbling forward, and the save made by Kean Godwin. Godwin, a 2023 goalkeeper, two-year varsity starter. 2022 GACA All-Star as well. Ball's over on the near sideline for a throw-in. Stars and stripes. Interesting week watching the head coaches throughout the weekend really form their team, find the way that they want to go about their style of play. Whistle blown. There's Julian Withrow in the area for the stripes. We expect Withrow to be very involved here today on their side. Whether he's in the midfield or pushing forward, someone that is a bit of a dual player, versatile on and off the field. As we'll get to know throughout the broadcast, it gets back to J.C. Montoya, the goalkeeper. If you're wondering why we're taking off about an hour later than we expected, it's because we had a weather delay, all kinds of lightning and rain and thunder in the area. Godwin with it at his feet. And the girls' game able to come on. The boys' game here working its way into developing some action. We're good for two 40-minute halves to play. We're through the first two. Stripes looking to push on. Vielma with the ball. It's taken away. Jackson Biggs from the Stars in the back. The Stars of a team that it can stand out very quickly. It has more size on their side. Especially in the middle of the field, you take a look at Pedro Torado, the midfielder, Northside High School near Columbus, Georgia. It's a three-year starter there, sitting just above a back line that has some very tall, very strong defenders. They will be a tough group to get by today. That was a standout all the way from training session one. They really had some size on Kevin King's squad. Kevin King, head soccer coach, or yeah, head soccer coach over at Cedartown High School. No, the practice is conducted differently, similar to what we mentioned at the beginning of the girls game. And it's been fun to watch different styles. Kevin King really wanted to let the ball work and get the players trained well in possession type of soccer. Making sure that they were cohesive and the chemistry was there. And that was a real focus, was that chemistry on the ball and the technical taking care of the ball, the technical side of things. On the flip side... For Team Stripes, I expect them to come out firing on all cylinders here in the first 10, 15 minutes of action. They are a team that plays with, you might say, unmatched intensity with the way that they're coached by Chris Rose. Play it on. The Stars with an advantage here. Moving into the upper third. Jeremiah McDade. A touch too big. He's a high pedigree player in this game in his own right. McDade, a 2023 prospects, 7A All-State player. Plays with Concord Fire out of Auburn High School. Slide tackle, opposite side, and we've got a call. Kai Downs, the defender, commits the foul. Out of bounds, and it's going to be Stars' possession. Downs will take it. He's first team all region. You take a look at the talent here. It's been awesome. You've got commits as well to a few different colleges that will spotlight throughout the game. 
throw in, but the talent level here is fantastic. We expect a, a pacey high level of play coming in. We've already gotten some of that. Ball knocked over towards the right sideline. Stripes have Caleb Diaz in the back, the Truett McConnell University commit. He wants to major in business management there. Medea is a crafty defender, very tough to get by, can be physical, well built out in the shoulder area as well. Go size for size, pound for pound with a lot of different strikers that he may face in this game. And JC Montoya back in goal. Just a fun person to be around on his eight yards away from goal, knocking that ball forward. A couple of players knock into each other and may have been a hit to the head here. Both players, or one player, able to get up now. About 28 yards from the goal line. The collision. They're both back up. Trainer holds on the sideline. He will not come onto the field. And a drop ball will make it Stars' possession. Heading towards the east side of the pitch. McDade. Looping ball over, trying to play into some space created in the corner. The Stripes will take it back away. Soren Bedner. Bounced around. Floated towards midfield, and there's Tirada. The flex back into the hands of the goalkeeper, Godwin. Has a look around, doesn't see a ton of options, and punts it forward past midfield. Chopped along the touchline. The Stripes can launch into an attack. A few runners into the 18, they'll elect to lay it off. Left-footed ball towards the back post, headed into the air. And an offside flag is up on the opposite side of the pitch. Montoya lays it down. And he'll step into a short kick. You'll see this team now with Withrow on the ball. Not be shy to play simple, but look for an ambitious ball through. This one getting into a dangerous area. There's a runner on the back post here for the Stars. This direct shot on goal saved by Godwin. And they're comfortable... The Stars team really playing in some possession until they see that opening, and they'll launch right beyond you quickly. It's a team that really has gotten to know each other well, and they've got a good feel for each other in just a 48-hour time period. So we could say about as good of a feel as you can have. It is just fun to watch, just a stellar combination of individuals coming together not able to play as individuals, having to play as a team for wins, for success. Here's Diaz looking long. Dangerous in the 18. Running onto it with the captain's armband. That ball slides away. Might have been David Garcia who's going to head over now into the corner kick area. It is David Garcia, forward slash midfielder. During the 10 minute mark into this match. Headed down by Diaz, but not enough. Foul, charge from behind, knocks over Anthony Vera. Angel Velasquez committed the foul.
Flicked on. Crafty move. Possession maintained here by the Stars. Withrow sends it on. Vera, an opportunity chopped away by Diaz. Alaska has tried to get on. Throw in here from Bednar. Flip forward, bring into space. Luke McGinnis in the area. Here in Team Stripes, a corner kick. Another set piece opportunity coming fairly early in this game. The Stripes will push Diaz and one more up the field. It's a quick corner towards the back post. Stars will take the throw in. Vera. So talented, especially technically on the ball. You see him directing traffic, sending it over. A lot of the way the Stars want to run is through Vera in the middle, trying to distribute and put some of his attackers in the best positions to score. I've already seen some evidence of that early on. But between him and Withrow, the center of the midfield, incredibly strong for the Stars team. They're really... A good squad down the middle. You look at their center back, center mids. That's some of their best players here. And it's among a group of talented, talented players. Ball finds its way. Very crafty there. David Garcia trying to track it down. Montoya back in goal will receive this ball. And Montoya out of Flowery Branch High School. A fairly sharp goalkeeper according to the coaches. They really... Have enjoyed getting to watch him work. And he partakes in chorus and theater and wants to play in college and eventually become a paleontologist. I also have to mention that he beat me in Uno during the rain delay. He's the Uno champion. Now this ball comes through. McGinnis puts it in. Luke McGinnis with the strike for the open goal. The stripes are on the board. Right in the side pocket. They don't come much better than that. Luke McGinnis, he is... Oh, look at this team celebration. <laughs> From the stripes, they're having fun. McGinnis, a goal-scoring machine. I think that's fair to say. In two years, he's got 42 high school goals. He was an All-State sophomore. Cross-country state champ in 2021. The list goes on, but... He had an impressive resume, and we say up top, 2024. There's plenty of 2023s in the rising upperclassmen group here. Would he be able to separate? And he already has. He's shown exactly what we were looking to see out of Luke McGinnis, the forward. And really on that angle from McGinnis, you can try near post. Montoya is trying to guard that, and he's able to just hook it far post on that shot. It was brilliant there from Luke McGinnis. And quite a build. All of a sudden, it felt like the stripes were in that scoring territory and put it away before you can even really think twice or blink about it. The referee backs up Garcia and now says that the free kick can come from Vera. Julian Lewis cuts it away. Couldn't get by Velasquez. And the turn from Garcia flips the ball forward. Torado trying to defend. Onside. Velasquez now called the offside flag. 
Looks like the assistant referee was just jogging to get in position before he threw the flag up there. And stopped himself at the 20-yard line. Right as Velasquez got another touch on the ball and blows the whistle. So 15 minutes in, we've got the offside call. Almost looked like Velasquez had found a way to get in behind. Something that probably won't prove easy to do today. Jackson Biggs and Josiah Simmons. Center backs and large ones at that. Tough to play a ball in behind those types of players here. They've been pretty well organized as well thus far. Ever to foul? Dorado is tripped up. Playing quickly. Here's Vera. You got time. An opportunity to loft a ball with the left foot. Good eye to find McDade in the corner. McDade receiving support. Alex to try to go one on one. It's kicked out of bounds and it will be a corner kick. One on one battle pays off in favor of McDade. Now Vera, the crafty technical player, will step over for the corner kick. Anthony Vera, youngest player to ever play at the UIL Texas State Championships in 2019 as a freshman. And he's four-time All-County, four-time All-District. And the list goes on again for a player like this in Vera that is very well accomplished, just finished up senior year. He's a 2022 player. Substitutions heading in. Godwin takes the time to have a look around and find Diaz. Godwin, Diaz operating in a tight space and knocking it forward. Julian Withrow. Vielma. That's a strong ball targeting Garcia, and Montoya slides away to grab it. David Garcia can be lethal up top when the Stripes look to try to push forward. He's one of the guys that they lift their head for when he makes a run. That time, an attempt at him. The Garcia's especially had some nice backside runs here today. Co King. Cedartown coach drops the ball over, and his team will take a throw in. Baron out of the near side. Sent up. Here's McDade into the 18. Touch off the right foot. Hit the foot throw, and we're tied. McDade equalizes here. 26 to go in the first half of action. The 7A All State forward puts it away. Well, that's what we're looking for. The vision from the midfield of the Stars finds McDade, and he does the rest. be competitive and had a feeling this might have a few goals to it in this game and thus far it's been similar to what I was expecting. Both teams able to 
knock forward and find their way through once in the first 20 minutes. We've had two goals in the last 10 between these two teams. Hooking ball towards the center of the field finds its way through. The Stripes pushing Velasquez forward. McDade intercepts the ball. Diaz might have wanted to run forward there. Garcia cuts through a couple of defenders but can't get by Julian Withrow. Center official would like to talk to Garcia. Just settle him down here. The side tackle from behind on Withrow. Vera taking this towards the midfield logo. Of course, here in Chatham County, Georgia. Savannah Memorial Field. Montoya looking to find a target ahead. An attempted go through the middle. A couple of chops in the foul called between Vera and Withrow. The Stripes will get a bit of a run here out of it. The official will need the ball backed up here for Caleb Diaz. Diaz, an Eagle Scout and first team Gwinnett Daily Post all county player. Here's his right footed ball. Finding its way through, Garcia nearly able to direct that towards goal. Now with a substitution flag up, Montoya will ready himself for the goal kick as his side makes a substitution on the back line. Kai Downs now off the field. Joshua. Lopez playing down line. Vera, nice cutback, settles the ball. Sending McDade again. This time Bednar can recover and Diaz will operate on the bottom sideline. Bednar surveys and delivers. Out of play. There's Vera taking on everybody. He'll cut it back and lay it off. With turns around. Vera with looking ahead for McDade, and we've got a whistle blown foul called 31 yards from goal. It's Julian Withrow committed to play for the Tennessee Wesleyan Bulldogs that on that run, trying to find a man forward, draws the foul. Sets up who else but Vera again with 17 minutes and 34 seconds to play in the first half of action. The center official counts off 10 steps for Garcia and the other two in his wall. Vera delivered a hooking ball toward the back post. No one able to get their head on that one. Not a bad look there on a set piece, just no one on the other end of it. Two substitutions for the Stars. Withrow will head off for a deserved rest. Also Caleb Robinson off to the bench. Now we'll keep it on the carpet here for Bednar on the goal kick. In Savannah Memorial Stadium. Thank goodness it is a turf field here. Otherwise, I'm not sure the conditions would be suit for soccer, suited for soccer. But it drains well, plays well, despite the rain and the weather we've had. Stripes trying to slide across. Good ball, good ball. 
Velasquez makes a run down the left side. They try in the middle with Garcia. It's popped back to Montoya at his feet. He'll dribble outside his 18. Now way off his line. The Stripes attempt a shot, and they put it in. The Stripes strike from distance, and they go up two to one. Well, the keeper was off his line, and they took care of his house celebrating for Sergio, the cameraman, snapping some photos. They've had some fun here with Sergio, or Serge as they call him, this weekend. But when you score, they know who to find. Luis Vielma scored the goal. Yet his teammates yelling at him, go ahead and shoot the ball. Vielma lifts his head, finds the target, and he puts it away. Two to one, collision in the back. Torado will loop it over towards the bottom of your screen. An opportunity forward for the Stars. Diaz chops it off. Torado has helped very well in his team keeping possession. He'll take a shot directly. take his teammates over to the back arena after tying it back at two. It was an opening. No one closed him down and he put it up a rack. His father is about 10 yards to my right here, just outside the press box. And that's a proud man after that goal. And good. What a shot. That's an absolute screamer under the bar. Well, tied back at two, four goals here. And we're just through 25 minutes of play. Diaz kicks it out. And the Stars will get a substitution to throw it in. Torado, after the goal, will be taken off in favor of now Julian Withrow back out to the pitch. But Torado really stepping up there with Withrow off the pitch and getting in involved in the offense and Wow, we saw some results from that. Withrow controlling at his feet. Lopez settles it. Just got by with throw. Now Velasquez looking to send a man forward. Into a foot race here with Lucas. McGinnis cuts it off into the six-yard box. Still at his feet. Montoya comes out. McGinnis maintains possession and will stop play. We're going to have a penalty kick after a foul on the goalkeeper. 
Foul committed by J.C. Montoya. He'll walk the ball out to the penalty spot, and McGinnis is eager to have a look at a brace here. First penalty we've seen of the day between both games. McGinnis puts his leg into it, and it's wide left. Montoya might have a piece of that bull. Keeps everything tied at two, and goodness, we have had plenty of scoring action to go around here. Almost had a fifth combined goal. Whistle from the referee after the penalty failed attempt. Now a build up in the middle. This has been some high quality offensive soccer here. And now working into the corner. Nice build get by Velasquez and Angel will be called for the foul. It'll be set up for Vera. Vera did say that he was committed to the opportunity to play professionally in Europe, club yet to be announced. So we look forward to seeing his very bright future up ahead. He has been a standout amongst standouts here. This ball coming in on goal. Chopped away and close to me. Godwin just having to stay alive on that one back in goal. He kept it out. The Stars continue to put pressure, looking for the far post. Headed, Godwin makes a save, and it's by him. That's a goal, number three for the Stars. So much action there on the far post. Godwin made the first save, trying to go for the double, but wouldn't be able to. So now 3-2, five goals on his penalty kick. This game is not lacking for offensive prowess. Luis Martinez officially credited with the goal, the third of that for Team Stars. So we're looking at three goals in ten minutes for Team Stars. That is really something you've got in the past ten minutes alone. McDade scored a goal. Torado scored a goal. And then now Luis Martinez joins the party. Martinez, primarily a center back, class of 2024 player out of Athens United. In terms of club soccer, please Athens United 06 B Gold. Vera in the center circle distributes off now to Lopez. Lopez to Ray Bolar. Velasquez with the header. Header, Javi Ribolar trying to challenge. Ball now at the feet of the Stars. Lopez back. Ball comes around from Biggs over to Downs. At midfield, nice move to the left. 
Stripes will pick it up for a throw in. Under 10 to play in the opening half. Lewis loops behind him. I'm sorry, with her loops behind him. At least a couple of substitutions will come in here for the Stars team. I'll bring Torado back in. They'll have Vera come off and Biggs come off. Josiah Simmons comes back into his center back role. Garcia dispossessed. Withrow's got some room, cuts it over to Rebel R. Bednar back to his goalie at his feet. Godwin's going to let it fly to the far side. Garcia, one of two players heading off for the stripes. They'll have a throw in right at the midfield line. Vielma battling for control. Vielma scored at the 1553 mark in this match. Second of three goals for the Stripes team. Trip from behind, and now it's going to be a possession in a good area for the Stars. We've got a yellow card shown. Center referee writes down his booking. As Withrow will place the ball approximately 23 yards from goal for this free kick. This ball walking in. Looks like the keeper might have run into his goal post there. Godwin is down. The trainer is going to be waved onto the field. That was a nicely placed ball in the back post to force Godwin to have to crash over to make a play, and he did hit the post, it seems, as he was attempting to track that ball down, moving to his left. They'll say no need for the trainer to enter the field now. And okay, yes, they will. No, they will not need the trainer. They will wave on a substitution. There we go. Godwin just in a crouched position trying to recover, shake things off in the back. He's got 5 minutes and 23 seconds until the halftime break. Montoya comes well out to clear that ball, preventing danger. The stripes hope to play quickly. Corner kick for the Stripes. They're down goal. 
It's been so much offense. It's been a few minutes, it feels like, since they've had a strong run. Hooking to the back post. The Stars moving out a bit. Clearing some room now down the touchline. Lopez setting something up. Knocked off the head of Blake Eubanks. In the corner area, the right-footed ball won't have a chance over the goal. Eubanks getting some meaningful touches here. FCA member going to college to study physical therapy. Also plays American football. There is a player down for the stripes on their back row. Looks like some cramping here. It is a hot and humid day in Savannah. And his goalie, Kean Godwin, will come stretch him out. With Rowe. Lopez, nicely done, trying to find Rebolar. Bednar. Finding McGinnis here in the center of the field. All of a sudden, the stripes are looking very interestingly ahead. Stripes are the team that can get something going in a split second if you're not careful. Getting the intensity high under Chris Rose. We've heard Coach Chris. I saw him picking up some cough drops before the game. He's got so much intensity on that sideline. Yelling all the way across the field. We've heard him all the way in the press box over here. McGinnis trying to deal with this. Three defenders in the area. But he does run off out. It will be a look near goal at minimum for the stripes here. And this one can come about 27 yards from goal. Striking distance for several of these players if they want to try Montoya. Here's the attempt, left footed, tries Montoya, diving on the ground, and it will be a goal kick. JC Montoya makes the diving save. Lopez playing towards the center. With row. Under a minute to play in the first half of action. It's been a strong first half, not lacking for action, offense, or fireworks. Team Stars and Team Stripes here in Savannah, Georgia. Ooh, we got a foot race again. Push from behind in the penalty area. McGinnis went down, and it's another big opportunity for him. Luke McGinnis missed his first penalty about 13 minutes ago. He earns a shot for his team. He will not take this one. It will be Caleb Diaz stepping up for it. McGinnis drew it, and now he looks for his teammate to take care of the rest. 
right at the end of the half. The effort pushes McGinnis forward, and he's got some serious speed to him. Earns that opportunity after a push from behind. Diaz puts his leg into it and misses wide left. Two wide left penalty misses in the past 13 minutes of play. And that might put us into the half. There we are. Start three, stripes two, five combined goals and two penalty kick misses in the first half. And wow, this has been wild to watch. On the stripe side, goals from McGinnis, 11 minutes in, and Vielma, about 15.53 to play in this half of the action. Then for the start, goals from McDay, Torado, and Luis Martinez. That's got them up 3 2. Luke wins the more coverage coming live from Savannah Memorial Field right around the corner when we return.
We are back here for the second half of action at Savannah Memorial Stadium. It's been a good through 45 combined goals, even a couple of penalty opportunities, neither of which were converted in the final 13 minutes of the half by Team Stripes. Otherwise, they might be able to be ahead. But regardless of that, the offense, Team Stripes, coached by the Jamaican Chris Rose, McGinnis scored a goal, Viana scored a goal. A couple of penalty misses. On the start, coach by Kevin King. And coach at Cedartown in Georgia. Had a first half goal from McDade, then Torado with a screamer. Eventually, Luis Martinez would join the party and score to make their third goal and put them ahead. We'll see what kind of adjustments we might get out of Coach Rose's team. Coach Chris Rose. A very interesting story. The coach is here coming from all different corners of not just the country, but also of this hemisphere, we could say. Coach Rose from Jamaica. He's been at D1 St. Francis College. He's someone that was a part of the Jamaican U-20 youth program, played Division Three soccer at St. Lawrence. An, he was an academic All-American there, and he also coached a few years, or... During his college career, they were unbeaten for two years. One of the best NCAA teams in terms of unbeaten streaks of all time. He's currently, currently the Coercer Jamaica director, which means he leads one of the world's greatest youth development systems for soccer. Does a lot of training, does, has done plenty of work in Jamaica as well. He's assisted by Omar Clark. He played for Siva United, Premier League team in Jamaica. Won the league in the 96-97 season. He also coached with them in 2012. In the year that helped qualify them back to the Jamaican Premier League. This ball in Montoya. The stripes will put it in. The stripes have tied things up at the that one settled into the back post. Looked like Montoya might have had it, and the ball breaks loose. The stripes stick it away. Well, all kinds of action there on the back post. We'll see. Who exactly they announce as the goal scorer. But now Anthony Vera as we're tied back at three looking to lead his squad through. Vera now with row popping it forward. Velasquez lays it back off. With the stripes. An opportunistic squad. With row deals around the official. Biggs. It's Walker LeCompte that scored the goal. So LeCompte scoring and striking for his team about three minutes in to the second half. Some physical play, trip in the midfield, and now... Looks like it's Owen McCabe. It is Owen McCabe. That sets the ball down after drawing the foul. Challenging it on the keeper. Montoya will have a hold of the ball. Montoya stepped. Yes, he stepped out of the 18. And keeper with the ball in their hands. Can't step out of the 18-yard box. And by rule, that's going to be a free kick here. Referee sets it right where the toe crossed the line. And a prompt and a goal! Off the direct free kick, Luis Vieira. 
Elma with another one. Well, the strike five minutes ago. Last time we're saying, man, we're down one. They feel so close. And all of a sudden, two goals in five minutes. Looked like those double ones from Luis Vielma. As he scores for the second time today, he's got a brace in this game by my count. That also translates to about two goals in 20 minutes of game clock from Vielma. There it is. It is Luis Vielma. There's a misdirection there on the Stripes free kick. It's very smart. Coach Rose and his guys, a creative group. I mean, whoever came up with that idea, having about three players around the run-up of the ball, first player with a fake dummying over the ball, the second player in Vielma strikes while the third player just stands still and enjoys a front row seat and a look at the Luis Vielma show. Vielma here out of Sprayberry High School. He's Concord Fire ECNLR player. A midfielder in the class of 2024 and in front of college scouts and college coaches on his sideline and watching from the other sideline. He's put on a show. This might be the type of game that can put him on some radars the way that he's gone. But that type of free kick prowess doesn't tend to go unnoticed. McDade closing with an opportunity on goal, and Diaz will snuff that one out. Diaz has enough of all that. And Vielma, by the way, his coach, Aaron Wessner, head boy soccer coach at Sprayberry High School on the sideline, and I'm sure he very much enjoyed that. Seeing one of his players that travels down with him to this game put up a couple of goals. Just under 34 minutes here to play. We might end up with 10 goals combined by the end of it all. Pops around the frame. is knocked just over. That's out of bounds and a goal kick here. So scary there for Godwin as the stars were challenging right in front of frame. Withrow, darting forward, now back. And Withrow will reset all the way with his keeper in Montoya. It's intercepted. Now a look right around the top of the 18, taken back away. Garcia puts a charge in but deflected off the post on the rebound, deflected away off a defender. The Stars survive. Garcia up at the top. And the whistle blown. You see now the Stripes becoming much more confident after a couple of goals in about five minutes to get things rolling here in this game. Substitution and flag is up here for the Stars. Looks like they might make one change, and they will. After a little sorting, it's McDade heading off. One of the pair over on their bench. Stars have run in two reinforcements here towards the attacking part of their formation. One of them, Blake Eubanks, a winger here on the near side. Just on McGinnis, they've liked him in some foot races today. He gets tied up and the ball's sent free. Change of direction, it's back to Godwin. 
with Vera in pursuit. There's been plenty of pressure from the Stars team, coached by Kevin King. Really pressing now with Vera up top, having him chase it around a bit. Rebolar has the ball poked away. Withrow flips it. Withrow, hefty play. Eubanks at a touch. There's Withrow putting it right on the penalty spot before it was deflected off. Seen some crafty play from either side. In behind, Rebolar on the end line. It's well defended. Cutting forward, offside. McGinnis couldn't quite hold his run. You look at McGinnis, you're getting a varsity soccer captain, cross-country state champ up top, and he's been on the better end of so many runs forward. That time the Stars line just able to hold him. And here's Jackson Biggs. Looking corner to corner toward Rebelar. Rebelar tends to play center mid. We've seen him darting around the field in some different spots. He's a cross-country runner as well. LSA 05 National League, where he plays his club. Kian Godwin, no stranger to these all-star selections and all-star games. Now sends this ball on. Caught on by Vera. He keeps such a tight handle on it here in the corner before earning now an opportunity forward for his program. The Stars will have Kai Downs throw it in. He's a varsity player of the year and a 2022 prospect as well. It was a player offside that came back on that kicked the ball, now resulting in the Stripes having a free kick. Twenty-seven forty-five to play. Godwin lofts it on, challenge from the Stars, and now Eubanks will turn and find his midfielder. Withrow, heavy ball in between a couple of his players. Godwin wants to keep it in play. Diaz taking on Vera. Clearance up into the opposite side bleachers. Substitutions here for the Stars. They've been quick to their bench here, looking for some kind of momentum in the second half. They have allowed a pair of goals here in the 14 minutes we've been in play. They both came in the first five. 
for the Stripes. It's felt like when they can get into the attacking third, they're generating a quality opportunity nearly every time, but the Stars have held some possession and made it very hard for them to do that. And of course, the Stripes have had their moments launching forward. This could be another, another scissor move on the left side. The challenge and well defended there by Simmons of the Stars. Runner heading in. An opportunity. Stripes. A bicycle kick attempt. Garcia tries for the opposite side post. McGinnis was looking for a different type of highlight play that time. Wouldn't have been an All-American play. Maybe an All-World play if he'd connected with that ball. But it left it for Garcia. Garcia just hooked it. Montoya keeps it simple on the goal kick. Fifteen minutes now into the half. Stripes have some runners. They'll have to hold up. The high line there from the Stars. Very helpful to them defensively as they look for Vera. Vera still finds his way to that ball. Gave it off to Eubanks. Back post look off the head of Ribalar. Run on through the middle. Raymundo was looking for it. And Godwin on his end line holds it at his feet now outside of the 18. It's a way out of bounds, and the Stars can launch forward. Julian Withrow looking for some tempo. He sees something he wants to go for. The step over, the ball to the back post. Over the head of Ribolar. And Withrow are really trying to keep some tempo high for his star squad. They need to recapture momentum. They've got some time to do it. But there is a sense of urgency that comes here. Vera settles it down. Withrow. Battling in the midfield. Wins by one man. Won't take on a second. And sends it back. There's a play on the ground and a foul is called. The foul is going to be called against the Stars, against the Sorry, against the Stripes, rather. Referee taking a second to sort things out. There will be a substitution here. And Coach Chris Rose sends on a man. This free kick opportunity comes now 28 yards away from goal. About 22 minutes to play. Let's see what the Stars have got here on the set piece opportunity. Four and one. Kick and Godwin will snag it off the bounce. Bouncing ball off to the left side. Some interplay intercepted. Throw in here for the stripes in the red uniforms. Stars, of course, in the blue. 
The Stars team on the girls' side took a victory 2-0. Had a first half and a second half goal in that game. Now, this one, seven combined goals. Could it go for more? I wouldn't be surprised. And now with 60 minutes down, take a look here in Savannah Memorial Stadium, the Southeast All-American Soccer Showcase. We'll take a water break. 20.55 to go. And, of course, with these breaks, yes, you get water, but it does provide a bit of an opportunity for coaches to make some tactical changes or share some thoughts with the entirety of the team. I'm sure between Coach King and Coach Rose and their staffs, they will have plenty of opportunity to do so. But with that, we'll take a break and be right back in a moment. You're watching live the Southeast All-American Soccer Showcase in Savannah, Georgia. We're back to the action. 20 minutes to play. We've had the hydration break. We're three quarters of the way through in the Savannah, Georgia heat. We had a one hour weather delay. The girls game played, boys game right after. Had a fantastic showcase and a lot of fun to be a part of here in this coastal Georgia area. Ball placed on the turf for a free kick in favor of Team Stars. They'll make a substitution in the meantime. Maybe a little positional change. It seems Vera will be sliding back a little more into the formation. But on the free kick, plenty of players forward for the Stars. It's now off of Velasquez. Nearly intercepted and it will be taken away. Garcia looks for options, doesn't have a ton. The Stars did recover well to get numbers behind the ball. Take it away, here's Garcia. Into some open room, trying to chop it off for a teammate. An unselfish play, but the Stars come away with Josiah Simmons defensively forcing now a corner. And here it comes from Garcia, the outward swinging corner kick. Runner from behind.
Garcia regains possession. Now the stripes with Lecomte. Lecomte scored a goal just three minutes into this half of play. Stripes maintain possession. The Stars have some room to work with. Blasted over the goal. Big did. Was a near golden opportunity on the right side and maybe just a little over ambitious on that one. Trying to tuck it under the bar. The angle was closing down, and it was a boomer of a shot there from McDade, who's already scored one time today. In 21 minutes, 36 seconds remaining in the first half of action. He got himself on the board. Got his team on the board as well. There's a quick response to a McGinnis goal on the stripes side of things as well. This ball rocketed towards the 40-yard line. Now Angel Velasquez. Knocking it around. McCabe out of Georgia Military College pokes it forward. Coach Bobby from GMC also here working at the Southeast All-American Soccer Showcase and also to support McCabe. Owen McCabe playing his high school soccer in Milledgeville, Georgia. GMC team that won a state title in 2021. He's an all-region first player team, McCabe, and one that maybe is not always on the flashy end of some attacking plays, but he's a very steady player that sits in the midfield, doesn't always get a ton of recognition, but for him coming here, has continued to work well with his teammates, has the ball at his feet here, and sends it towards the center hash. There's Vielma, but it's offside. The right idea, trying to sneak beyond the line where Jackson Biggs was on the defensive side. Biggs with a floating ball on the free kick. Gets in beyond. This can be dangerous with Vera. He'll want it himself, maintain possession, chop it towards the middle. McDade turning his hips, but Godwin's there. McDade trying a quick hip flip there towards the center of the 18, but Godwin didn't have to move much. Velasquez punches it forward for McCabe. With Rowe going on a bit of a run down the center of the field. He'll blast a shot. Tucked just left of frame. Well, Julian with Rowe. Fantastically versatile. Participates in shooting sports. He is an Eagle Scout. Won a 2022 Good Citizenship Award. Not to mention the fact that he's a two-time Region 7-3A soccer all-region first teamer out of Gilmer High School. A Georgia High School preseason 3A all-state team in 2022. Four-year player, letterman, three-year captain for his soccer team. On his bio, the information just continued to go and go, but I thought it was quite interesting with the different versatility he's got committed to play soccer at Tennessee Wesleyan for the Bulldogs in fall 2022. And he hopes to be and plans to be a pre-physical therapy sports management major. High boot there. He'll ding Joshua Lopez for that foul. But Withrow just so impressive with the resume that he brings into a game like this. And he's continued to stand out. One of the first players that I notice in practices because of his technical ability and ball handling, decision making on the pitch. He is one that does kind of pop out as a midfielder that can play with pacing between him and Vera. 
Stars team has generated some offense, but they're going to need more. Lopez will hold off for his teammate and receive back on the near sideline. Lofted over towards the opposite side of the pitch. A player pulled down. The stripes with 13 to play will attempt for a free kick. will be Diaz, the Truett McConnell University commit. Off the right foot, back to J.C. Montoya. Vera trying to beat a man off a chip ball. With to McDade, he is offside. Right over the 41 yard line on the opposite side of the pitch, the official. Had the flag up. I'm not sure the center referee even needed the flag to know that was an offside call. It was by just about a yard, but a quick call made. Right idea there again from Withrow. He's got some creativity to his game. As the ball will be backed up by Vielma. Whistle blown. Ball's placed down. The Stars would like to go. They need to continue to try to roll their way forward. Velasquez and Withrow go at it. Sent back. Out of bounds. Substitution coming. The Stars with Luis Martinez, it appears, looking to throw it in. The player comes on. Torado will come back on for Vera. Also, it looks like Caleb Robinson will be in on the left wing. 4-3, stripes ahead. It's a foot race. A player goes down, and a foul is called on McGinnis to make it a star's free kick. Garcia and McGinnis both advocating for it to go their way, but it will not. Quick free kick play to Lopez. Robinson touches forward. Now onto the left side. McDade. Toronto miss hit. Star is going down line. Trying for a 1 2 with Toronto. Lopez playing over. Lopez, Withrow. Withrow's got plenty of room to work with. Leaps over a man. Eubanks, heavy touch into the 18. There's a man down. 
and a penalty kick. The Stars have been going and going and going at it, trying to find something in the upper third. And now it's the third penalty kick call of this game. Two for the Stripes. They missed them both. Now the Stars can tie on a penalty kick. There's some play on the ground, and of course they put the ball down 12 yards from goal here for Joshua Lopez, the 2024 prospect out of Southeast High School with a chance to tie the game. Lopez puts his leg into it, and it's knocked in. Off Godwin, the goal for Lopez. Ties it all at four. 8.45 to go, and Lopez on the penalty kick. That changes everything. Godwin getting checked on by his teammates. The trainer comes out. Ken onto the field. Going to check on the keeper. We've got the injury timeout after the goal. Let's reflect on the penalty kick. There is some play on the ground in the penalty area. Lopez goes right down the middle. A diving goalkeeper and Key and Godwin trying to take a guess at which direction it might go. He guessed right. It was down the middle. He got a bit of his foot on the ball or a bit of some part of his leg on the ball. Well, we mark Lopez down. 8.45 to go. He picks up the goal. Eight combined goals in this game. Godwin remains down with that. We'll take a momentary pause here on the broadcast as he, well, no, he gets back up now. No need. He's being tended to again by our training staff here. The Southeast All-American Soccer Showcase in Savannah, Georgia. And here we are back into play. Uh, reserve keeper AJ Brown. The reserve keeper AJ Brown has come into the match on the Stripes team. He comes in to replace Kean Godwin. Thank you to Tyler for the update. Just over eight minutes to play. So you see A.J. Brown in the stripes shorts has got the penny on, and he is ready to roll back in goal. We'll see what he is made of as Godwin continues to get some training from Ken. There's some attention from Ken over there on the sideline. Garcia went down. There's no call that the official makes, and the ball continues to go. There is a handball called now against the star number 23, Justin Raimundo.
Luis Vielma puts his foot into the ball on the opposite side of the field. It's headed on, but Montoya will corral it. McCabe gives it off, runs an overlap, and all of a sudden there's action down the left side. The stripe settling in. Ball goes across the face of goal, now out of bounds. A turn attempt, ball out of bounds, and the Stars will get a throw in here with Lopez. Going down line. Had it on. The striker duo that we've seen, really. More so a duo than anything of Garcia and McGinnis as McGinnis intercepts it. Those have been two incredibly dynamic players here today. McGinnis serving a hooking ball that didn't have a chance. They have been dynamic offensively, defensively, applying some pressure. And those two have shown a lot. They've had a good midfield behind them to help send balls up. McCabe, who touches it off to the left side, has been a part of the action today. There's another opportunity as the stripes break inside 20 yards of goal. Withrow backtracks to get a touch to disrupt the play. We're under five to go. Had a bit A cut to the left. Vielma playing on, and Montoya will come out to grab it. There is an offside flag up. Montoya puts it on the ground, serves quickly. Looking to release. The ball comes out to find Robinson. He's got an opportunity downfield and trekking on the far side. Play header off the woodwork. And the referee says, go ahead and get the ball out. A.J. Brown does accordingly. There is a player down from the stripes. This is the one that attempted on that ball. All kinds of conversation with the referee from both teams. The Stars were trying to get play pause for the injured player. Stripes had some kind of a debate. It will be Stripes' possession as the injuries off the field. Play can continue on the field. It's going to be still the 11 players. The injury substitution was made by the Stars team. They do have the full 11. They did make that change there during the momentary injury pause. Of course, playing by the high school rules, you don't need to worry much about substitutions. Generally unlimited for the most part. Unregulated, can come in, come out at any time. Chance now on the far side will be shut down by Lopez. Under three minutes here to play. The tension continues to build both sides on each end. Have been going box to box. This one lofted. Brown comes way off his line and volleys it. He'll find Diaz. Torado almost had a man, but Diaz just able to get to it. Brown back in goal picks it up. 
Brown, I believe, a class of 2026 goalkeeper at Carrollton High School. He's been in town here for Savannah and the event, been at the trainings and around the program. So for Asia to step in, it was something that we knew throughout the week if someone were to go down. There's not a ton of goalkeeper depth between the two squads. Here's Era, under two minutes to play, getting dangerous, runners on the backside. And Robinson unable to put that ball away. A tapper out of bounds. Here's Garcia feeling confident, throwing it backwards. Just over 90 seconds here. The ball sliding its way toward the end line. It's a goal kick. I don't know if you heard any of that exchange just talking with Tyler. I asked him, do we have an overtime protocol? And he says, well, it's first time in history. We'll go straight to penalty kicks. So if we have 60 seconds without another goal, now it's 45 seconds without another goal. We've got ourselves a penalty kick shootout. And at this rate, it might be one for the ages the way we've gone. Just when you thought one side would take it. The other came roaring back, and that's been the story of the game. Under 30 seconds to play. Some wildly entertaining soccer here. If you're in for offense, then you're going to love this game today, and I bet you have. McCabe, he's got 15 seconds to make something happen. Sliding on the ground. Toronto, last second blast, won't have a chance, and there we go. We've played eight minutes, and we do not have a decision. Free soccer coming up in the form of penalty kicks. We're tied 4-4. Four four. PK's coming up when we come back.
Here we go. All set for the penalty kick action. Here's the first one from Team Stars. Approaching on A.J. Brown. He'll try to chip, and it's in the goal. Team Stars has taken their first of the day and made it. Stars are one for one. Stripes now at the penalty spot. Stripes will have Ezra Reynoso. Reynoso's kick finds its way in. It's 1-1. One, one. You've got the five kicks in the shootout, and if you're still tied after five, then you keep going. Now for the Stars, it'll be Jeremiah McDade, 2023 7A All-State player that we've already mentioned has scored once today. This delivery finds its way past Brown, and McDade has done it. Stars up 2-0, or 2-1 to one in the penalty shootout. The Stripes with their second kicker has Angel Velasquez stepping up. Velasquez will attempt a long run up. Give it a go. He puts it in. 2-2. Two -two. Stars and Stripes all knotted up as they have been. And the 4-4 tie before penalty kicks. The third kick will be taken by Anthony Vera. He's going to check on the ball. And now step back again. Facing A.J. Brown back in goal. The lefty delivery hooks its way in. The Stars pick up their third. And Vera has made his kick. Now the Stripes going up against J.C. Montoya back in goal. They've connected on both of their penalties. Such an important piece in this game. Your ability to finish. Here's a player that has finished a couple of times today. Luis Vielma has got a brace. Scored 15 minutes, 53 seconds into the first half, and then with 35 minutes to go. Vielma connects in the bottom right corner. All kinds of tension here in Savannah, Georgia. 3-3 three, three tie and penalties. The Stars have got Joshua Lopez up for the fourth penalty kick. Lopez going on Brown. Strides, delivers, it's a screamer for the goal. Lopez is able to take care of business, and now it'll be McCabe on the stripe side. Owen McCabe. Puts it on the correct penalty spot. He was region midfielder of the year in 2022, and he's able to put that one by Montoya for the goal. Four to four penalties. And now the closers come out. The Stars have Julian Withrow. The Tennessee Wesleyan commits. 
has it go in off the arm of Brown. It's now five out of five. Penalty kick goals for the Stars. And it's all come down to this. If the kick is made, penalties continue. If it's not, the game is over and the Stripes will take the win, or the Stars will take the win. And this final one potentially will be taken by Soren Bednar. All the pressure on him late in this match. Soren Bednar, we've called his name a good bit. Going against Montoya, Bednar loops it in. Five to five, penalty kicks, and now the sixth men will come out. On the star side of things, this will be Jackson Biggs to take it. One of the defenders that held things down for the most part today. Biggs with the right foot in the right corner. Now Caleb Diaz to take the penalty. He missed one of the two penalties the Stripes had in this game. He missed it left, but that was on the opposite goal. Well, what a finish to a game we have had. This is the 12th combined penalty kick, and Diaz able to converge on this one. Well, the teams are combined 12 for 12 on these PKs. We keep going. Out to the seventh man. It's Josiah Simmons to face A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown, not the starting goalkeeper, came in with about eight minutes to play. He is a rising ninth grader out of Carrollton High School now in this tough position. Simmons high in the rack for a goal. That will be Montoya set to face off against the Stripes here for another penalty kick. It's round seven of PKs for those keeping track. This will be the Stripes number 18, Juanes Martinez. Martinez misses and the Stars take the win. In penalty kicks, a four-four game decided seven-six in penalties. And the Stars have got the win. Well, what an unbelievable result! And a fantastic team takes the W. Strong down the middle of the field, they have accomplished it. But what a tournament it's been! Southeast All-American Soccer here at Savannah Memorial Stadium in Savannah. The Stars had goals in regulation from McDade, Torado, Martinez, and Lopez. Penalty kick goals from seven players. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Luke Winstall. This has been a fantastic event to be at. Can't thank everybody enough. Tyler Pineda helping to organize everything. And his staff have done a fantastic and smooth job. But from Savannah, signing off. It's been a great one. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the games.